In this episode, we will delve deep into Certified Associate Python Programmer PCAP practice exam questions, breaking down each response to ensure you're not just memorizing answers, but truly understanding the concepts. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, so you never miss out on our tips and updates. Now, let's crack those practice questions and conquer the Certified Associate Python Programmer PCAP exam together. Question 1. You are exploring a Python module named my underscore module that contains various functions, classes, and variables. What is the correct way to use the dir function to list all attributes, including built-in ones, of the my underscore module module? Question 2. You are designing a program that requires rounding a floating point number towards zero, effectively truncating the decimal part. Which function from the math module should you use for this purpose? Question 3. You are developing a simulation program that requires generating a random integer between 1 and 100. Which function from the random module should you use for this purpose? Question 4. You are collaborating on a Python project with multiple team members. Each member works on different modules within the project. After a team member pushes their changes to the version control system, you notice that new PyCache directories are created in various module directories. What does this indicate? Question 5. You are designing a Python module that includes a class named Calculator. Inside the class, you define two variables, result and underscore history. The result variable is intended to store the current calculation result, while underscore history is used internally to track calculation history. Which statement correctly describes the usage of result and underscore history in the calculator class? <laughs> 